Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern from Modern Salon TV. I'm here with my new buddy, Joanne Sorbello from Stone Ridge Salon from what town? Stone Ridge, New York. Oh, that makes life easy. So we are here at a photo shoot and we're hiding our model. She's behind the screen here. But Joanne did beautiful nails on her and had some challenges. So before we go over to your kit and talk about this, just tell us what you did for the nails here. Well, today is definitely a little metallic. There was um, some accent on some things I cannot talk about but we are just accenting some highlights. Okay, and what shade did you use, or shades? I used a slight metallic gold and a slight metallic silver with a matte finish. Okay, and I know they're over here. Okay, so now that we have here, now we can walk away from our model so that, don't, don't let her be seen, we're running over this way. Okay, so uh, what makes this so interesting is Joanne took artist session and she was our first nail artist ever to take artist session. When she arrived today, our model had these nails. Hang on, if we can zoom in on these. And our model, Ruby, admitted that she bites her nails. And uh, Joanne, fortunately, had met Ruby before at artist session, yes. so she kind of knew what she was getting into, although you didn't know it was going to be Ruby. No, I did not. That was a surprise. All right, so hang on. I'm coming over here. So, so tell us what you learned from your experience today with Ruby and your experience with artist session, how to be prepared, and what we can all learn from you. Um, I definitely think the key advice I can give anybody doing this at all would be expect the unexpected, completely pack everything and the kitchen sink that you think you're not going to use it because you're going to use it. Okay, and in this case, you did, we're not planning on doing press on nails, and fortunately we had some in the studio, but your advice, or the next time you come do this, you would bring press on nails? Definitely press on nails as well. Okay. I forget there's that many nail biters. And, you know, she's a young girl. So we fortunately had these. Uh, are these the ones you use? Those the are the ones. Okay. Yep. So she had the press on nails. And then I see you brought a bunch of other equipment. Tell me what, this, what, what you had to do here. Well, this, because I'm not used to working with press on nails, this I just MacGyvered on the fly, some little 3M hooks. And I put, used some double stick tape so that I could stick the nail tips actually to them and then paint them and have them ready to go to put on her fingers. So okay. MacGyvering today. All right, and, and, you know, we were talking about this earlier. First of all, before we move on to that, what, what is this device? That is my e-file, my electric file. Um, should only be used on natural nails very uh, at slow speed, very gently. And I only use that around her cuticles just to clean that up. Okay, and then these are the colors that you used today. Tell us about those. Uh, Morgan Taylor, great color. It's a really subtle, nice gold, not too glittery. And this one is just too, too much. And then a little Color Club art paint in solid silver. Good combo. Okay, so again, what were, what were some of your other big surprises? Uh, you know, we, we talked about making sure you have a bag where you can see everything. That's just a good tip for everybody. How about things like towels, anything like that? I always throw a couple extra towels in um, just in case, but I think the best thing to say would just be organized. You know, color coordinate. I have all my metallics with my metallics, all my neutrals with my neutrals. So that way, you know, you can be quick about it. Because it's all about timing. It's, oh, it is all about timing, yeah. Um, at artist session, she had a lot of time, but this time you, you did not have a lot of time. And glue, you ended up, how frequently do you use, do you use glue in the salon? I hate glue. I actually almost glued myself to Ruby. It's a terrible thing. Um, but usually I just use, if I'm doing artificial, I'm straight gel across the board, so I don't use too much glue. But again, expect the unexpected. If there's a nail break and it was a natural nail, you need glue. I'll tell you how great Joanne is. We said, ah, just get the nails on and then you can go because she doesn't live in New York City, you know, to go check out the city. And she was very smart. She said, no, she's changing her clothes. I want to see if... Just in case she pops a nail off, it happens, and you got to have glue. And guess what happened? She needed some glue. She needed some glue. <laughs> So now you can officially go. She was all packed up and we asked her to undo everything. Thank you so much. We had so much fun with you today. And you liked Artist Session? I loved Artist Session. And thank you for having me. The team's great. Yeah. Oh, it is a great team. So thank you so much, Joanne. Have a great day in New York City. Thanks for coming to this shoot. And I hope to see you in April. Me too. Thanks. Bye. Bye.